This Chapter 2 video problem walkthrough will illustrate how to determine the average value of a customer, or VLC, both manually and using Excel. Our objective with this problem is to determine the average value of a loyal customer in a target market segment if the average purchase price is $70 per visit, the frequency of repurchase is every month, the contribution margin is 20%, and the average customer defection rate is 25%. We'll call this scenario A. Next, if a continuous improvement goal is set of a 20% defection rate next year, and 15% two years from now, we'll need to calculate the revised VLCs again. We'll call these scenarios B and C, respectively. So let's go ahead with a manual solution approach. Here we'll use the average value of a loyal customer formula where VLC is equal to P times CM times RF times BLC. So we'll start by filling in the variables. P is the revenue per unit, or in this problem, the average purchase price, which is $70. CM is the contribution margin to profit and overhead, which is expressed as a fraction, which is 20% in this problem, so that's 0.20. Next we have RF, which is the repurchase frequency, which is the number of purchases per year. We know our purchases are monthly in this problem, so that makes 12 purchases per year. Next, we have to use the data to determine the BLC, which is the buyer's life cycle, computed as 1 divided by the defection rate and expressed as a fraction. So under the first scenario, A, the defection rate is 25%, uh, and so if we take 1 divided by 0.25, that gives us a four-year buyer life cycle. So now we can proceed with calculating the VLC at the current level of the 25% defection rate. We'll take our $70 revenue per unit times a contribution margin of 0.2 times 12 for the um, uh, repurchase frequency and then multiply by four for the BLC and that gives $675. Well, that's great, but this company isn't really satisfied with a 25% defection rate. So they decide to set a continuous improvement goal for next year of a 20% defection rate. So before recalculating the VLC for next year, what we have to do first is recompute the BLC using the revised defection rate of 20%. So if we take 1 divided by 0 0.20, that gives us a 5-year BLC, which we can then use in the recalculation of the VLC. So we'll take $70 times 0.2 times 12 times five, and that gives us a VLC of $840. But why stop there? A 20% defection rate still is a little higher than this company wants. So two years out, they set another defection uh, rate improvement target to 15%. So once again, we recalculate the BLC using uh, one divided by 0.15 for that 50% uh, uh, defection rate to give us 6.67 years for the buyer's life cycle. And then we can calculate the final revised uh, VLC for two years from now to be $70 times 0.2 times 12 times 6.67 to give us $1,121. And we're done. So now let's have a little fun and solve this problem using Microsoft Excel. So go ahead and open up the VLC uh, Excel template file that uh, is provided uh, with your textbook supplemental materials. And when you do that, you'll see that there are a number of cells that are highlighted yellow, and we will use those to enter the data from the problem. Be sure to enter data in the yellow cells only. So go ahead and enter 70 in cell B4 to represent the purchase price. Enter 20 in cell B5 to represent the 20% contribution margin. Enter 12 in cell B6 for the repurchase frequency. And finally, enter 0.25 in cell B7 to represent the 25% defection rate. So now you'll notice in cell B9, the buyer's life cycle of 4.0 is calculated for you. And then you'll also notice in cell B10, the final answer of $672 for the VLC. So now we'll proceed with scenario B and update the defection rate to 0 0.20 to reflect the updated goal of 20% in the next year. After entering 0 0.20 in cell B7, you'll notice the buyer life cycle is recalculated to be five years and the final VLC to be $840. Finally, if we go ahead and update cell B7 to 0 0.15 to reflect the updated target of a 15% defection rate two years from now, you'll see that the final uh, BLC is 6.67 
and the VLC $1,120. Now you'll probably notice that our answer in Excel of $1,120 is a dollar less than our manual calculation of $1,121 and that's because we used a BLC of 6.67 uh, as a rounded number in our manual calculation and Excel actually uses the exact digits of 6.666 repeating. In this video we learned how to calculate the average value of a loyal customer given an average selling price, contribution margin, repurchase frequency, and a varying customer defection rate. What this illustration showed us was that as the defection rate of a customer drops, all else equal, their value increases. So this really underscores the importance to a business of developing and maintaining loyal customers.